Hello, my name is Katrina Marks, and today I'm going to tell you about space exploration. How can we explore Mars is a common question. I'm going to tell you about past, present, and future missions. Over spring break, my family and I went to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. We learned a lot about the past and future space missions. Here is a video about it. Welcome to the Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. We are here to study space exploration. This is where Warner Von Braun invented the Saturn V. Up here is the Saturn V rocket. It stands 363 feet tall. The silver part way up there is where the um, service module was. Right above that was the command module. This is the lunar lander. It's what the Apollo astronauts used to land on the moon. It is a huge thing, a lot bigger than most people think. The gold foil you see is actually not gold foil. It is mylar with an amber coating on top. Amber is a type of tree sap. The rover, the rover is something that was used to travel around the moon, besides where they could see from their um, lunar lander. This is where the lunar rover stayed on the lunar lander. This is how the lunar rover was folded. Just like this. To unfold it, this is what you do. That's how you do it. This is the Apollo 16 command module. It is the real thing. Three people can fit inside of it. It is very small. Also, there are little switches that help control the thing. During re-entry, it was tough because the they had to go through few miles of 5,000 degree heat. Some of the pieces on the bottom coating to protect it fell off. Today we have focused on the Apollo program. There is a lot more to see and do at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. We hope you've enjoyed your visit. We're glad you came along. about the history of space exploration. There were three steps to go to the moon. The first step, Mercury held one person, and it was to see how a human would react in space. It lasted from 1958 to 1963. <coughs> the second step, Gemini, was to practice rendezvousing, docking, and to see just how long a human could last in space. The longest Gemini mission was two weeks. Can you imagine staying in a little land module for 14 days? It lasted from 1961 to 1965. The, the third step, Apollo, was when they were actually going to land on it. It held three people. It lasted from 1960 to 1971. To go to the moon, they used the Saturn V rocket, just like this one. It had three main stages. The first two stages were used to get into Earth orbit. They fell off after they were in Earth orbit. Also during launch, launch, this thing called the escape hatch would come off. If stage one or stage two did not work, the escape hatch would have came off with the command module and taking it to a safe place.
once they were in Earth orbit, they didn't need the escape pod. The third stage they used to get into lunar orbit. Once they got into lunar orbit, they jettisoned it from the command module, and it eventually crashed into the moon. When they were ready to go to the moon, the service module and the command module would come out, turn around, come down and dock with the lunar lander. Two of the three astronauts would climb inside into the lunar lander. <coughs> After they got done climbing in, it would go to the moon. The one astronaut still in the command module would stay orbiting the moon. Once they were done, they would climb back in to the lunar lander and only this part would come back and they would dock. The two astronauts would climb back inside and then they would jettison this part too and it would crash into the moon. About that time, they had also jettisoned the service module. It did not move. It was patient. During re entry, about right here, if these desks were the earth, the parachutes would open to slow its final splashdown in an ocean. After that, people would come and get out the astronauts from the command line. burned up on the launch pad while testing to see if the airlock would work. They had to put pure oxygen in the command module to do this. Apollo 11 was the first mission that actually landed on the moon. Here are some facts about our current space exploration. Currently, we use a vehicle called the Space Shuttle. It is 184 feet in length, and it can hold a maximum capacity of seven people. It has flown 114 missions. Here are the names of the five space shuttles. Columbia, Challenger, Endeavour, Atlantis, and Discovery. Two of the five space shuttles have blown up. Challenger blew up on January 28, 1986, a few seconds after launch. Columbia exploded on February 1, 2003, right over Texas and Louisiana. It was preparing to land. Now the space shuttle is getting old. It has its limitations. NASA wants to send astronauts to Mars. They can't use the space shuttle. It has to launch like this. NASA definitely needs something new. The Russians launched the first space probe to Mars. A space probe is a thing that takes pictures of another planet. <coughs> Lots of other space probes have been to Mars. Pathfinder launched December 4th, 1996. <coughs> It carried Sojourner to Mars. It took pictures of Mars and analyzed rock, soil, atmosphere, pressure, temperature, and wind. In 2007, NASA will launch Phoenix. It's going to probe the poles to see if there are common compounds necessary for life. In 2009, NASA is going to launch a science laboratory it's going to collect soil and rock cores to see if it can support life. NASA thinks that the next step to go to Mars is to go to the moon. Here is a model of the new lunar lander compared to the Apollo ones. The new lunar lander is called the LSAM. It is not actually built yet. Here is a virtual picture of what it might look like when the LSAM launches from the moon. I hope you've enjoyed these few facts about space. Mars is a very interesting planet and I wish to go there someday. Space is waiting for you.
everything and then used your products to help us really understand and you explained it so well your eye contact was great um, you took something that a lot of people aren't very familiar with and made us really understand it you did wonderful I'm sure there are some questions out there especially um, tell us I bet a couple people everybody's kind of curious tell us about did you make both of those tell us a little bit more about your products um this, me and my dad worked on is a Lego project that we were working on, and these postcards came from this book. There's more postcards from Mars in here, like pictures of poles, and like what a space probe might look like inside. <coughs> and then we got this from Kennedy Space Center. <coughs> 